What's going on guys, Kaiser here from Kaiser Reveal. And today we'll be taking a look at some of the techniques that I use to edit in Adobe Premiere. Now this is actually part two of a series that I started a couple of months ago where I break down one of my intros and show you guys my editing process. Except this time, the guys at Xenu reached out and offered to sponsor this video by hooking one of you guys up with your very own Smooth 4 gimbal. So stick around to the end of this video to see how you can enter. Now I've already done a review of the Smooth 4, so if you haven't seen that, I'll leave a link or annotation so that you can check that out. With that said, Here's the intro that we'll be breaking down. Freezing outside, a little bit high on the feeling. Can't see. All right, so that was a quick intro that I put together. Now, normally I wouldn't use all of those effects, especially with that song because there isn't such thing as over editing and sometimes a simple cut or fade is more than enough. But for the sake of this video, I added some extra stuff. All right, so first we'll take a look at the letterbox effect. To do this, first you'll want to add an adjustment layer by clicking new item, adjustment layer, and okay. Then drag the adjustment layer above your video clips. From here, select effects type crop in the search box, then drag the crop onto your adjustment layer. Next you'll want to set your top and bottom percents. Now you can set this to whatever looks best to you, but I'm using an 11%. And that's it. Next we'll take a look at the opening barn door transition. Now this is pretty simple, it's simply a barn door that's located in your transitions folder. To do this, click effects, type barn door in the search box and then drag the barn door onto your clip. Now by default, it'll be set to east to west. So to change this, simply click on the barn door effect, then click on the up arrow to set it to south to north. Now you can set the speed of duration by dragging the transition left or right. Next we'll take a look at this quick zoom in transition. Now this is one of those transitions that you'll want to plan for ahead of time. So basically I shot one wide shot and one tight shot and then used a preset that I edited by Kyler Holland. Now I won't go into detail on how I edited the preset because the stock preset is good enough. However, because I planned ahead for this shot, I didn't need the scale setting so I removed it. But I'll leave a link to Kyler's video where he explains how to use the preset and where to get it. Alright, so this next transition is a quick pan. This is another one of those shots that you'll want to plan for ahead of time. Although you can still do this if you didn't shoot for it, but for this example, I used the phone go mode on the Smooth 4 gimbal. So basically if you hold down the top button on the rear of the gimbal, it'll allow you to perform quick pans like this. From here you simply place the clip that you want to transition to next to it. Now you can stop there or you can do what I did here by adding a blur effect to make it a bit smoother. To do this, simply click new item and add an adjustment layer. Next, place the adjustment layer over your two clips. Then go to effects, type blur in the search bar, and drag the Gaussian blur onto your adjustment layer. Then place your playhead at the point just before the pan starts. Set a keyframe, check repeat edge pixel, and change your blur dimensions to horizontal. Then place your playhead at the beginning of the next clip. Set your blurriness to whatever you want. For this example, I'll use 246 and this will automatically set another keyframe. So the blur will start at zero and gradually increase to 246 and this is how that looks. Now we don't want the blur to stay at 246 or end abruptly. We want it to gradually decrease back to zero. So to do this, we'll place the playhead at the point where it reaches 246. Then move our playhead forward a couple of frames by pressing the right arrow on your keyboard and then set the blurriness back to zero. This will create another keyframe and here's how that looks. Now the outro is basically a blur effect with a title that I created in After Effects. Now I won't go into detail about the title because you'll need After Effects to accomplish this. To add the blur effect, go to Effects, type blur in the search box and drag the Gaussian blur onto your clip. Now just like before, once you determine where you want your blur to start, set a keyframe. Then move your playhead forward a couple of frames and set your blurriness. This will create another keyframe. Next check the repeat edge pixel box and that's it. 
Alright, so the guys over at Zenyu sent me this gimbal to give away to one of you guys. So to enter, simply hit that like button and leave a comment below, and I'll randomly select the winner. And if you guys enjoy this content, be sure to subscribe. So until next time, peace.